Hey guys, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home. In today's video, we're going to look at the most valuable Blu-rays in my movie collection. Hey everyone, so thanks for coming back to the channel. Before we get started here, I'm filming this video right after we hit 30,000 subscribers, so huge thank you to everyone out there who's been watching. That was a great accomplishment to hit that, and we're gonna shoot for 50 by the end of the year. Now in this video, we're gonna talk about the most valuable movies in my collection. Most of these are Blu-ray. Actually, I think all of them are Blu-ray. There may be an odd 4K or DVD thrown in, but for the most part, these are Blu-ray discs. And a lot of people ask me this question, as a collector, is there any value to certain uh, editions of movies or are there certain movies out there I should look to like almost invest in? Uh, I liken this to other people who are collectors and look for things with value, right? A lot of people collect and they hope that the things they collect will increase in value and maybe give them some sort of nice like retirement fund or, or something to sell off in a few years and make a few bucks. Um, movie collecting is not so much like that, but there are definitely movies out there on Blu-ray, DVD, and 4K, which you could certainly make a good amount of money off of if you were to sell them out of your collection. Now, I personally do not sell most of my stuff. I keep a lot of it. I have bought and sold a few movies here and there, but it's usually to get a movie out of my collection that I don't really need and use that money to get a movie that I really want. So that's kind of the way I play it. But it's really hard to guess which of these movies are going to be worth a lot of money in the future. Although I can give you a few tips and tricks on what seems to hold its value if you're interested in that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you a bunch of movies from my collection and give you eBay sold listings so you can get a good idea of what they're selling for within the last few months and what their real value is. You may see some of these listed on eBay for thousands of dollars or ridiculous prices and that's not really what they're worth. They're not selling for that amount. They're just listed for that amount. So we're going to look at actual sold listings to give a good value and just take a look at a few of the different uh, box sets and individual movies in my collection that are really worth a good chunk of money. If you enjoy 4K and Blu-ray movie collecting, home theater topics, anything like that, please consider subscribing to the channel. Help us get to 50,000. I'd really appreciate it. Also like this video and let me know in the comments if you guys have any of these laying around and maybe you have something you didn't even know was valuable because I know while I was doing research for this, I actually found a few myself that I had no idea were worth so much money. So the first title I'm gonna talk about is a pretty obvious one if you've been collecting for a while, but this is the Friday the 13th complete Blu-ray collection. Uh, this is the black tin, uh, which has all kinds of good stuff in it. It has this book with all the movies in it. I still have the 3D glasses for Friday the 13th part three, and it has a booklet, uh, Crystal Lake Memories, as well as a Camp Crystal Lake patch. So really cool stuff in here. And the reason this one is worth so much money is because it's out of print and it has been out of print for a very long time. Now this was an expensive set even when it was in stores. It would be hard to find this for cheaper than a hundred bucks even when it was in stock. But now that price has doubled or tripled in most cases because there's some rights issues with Friday the 13th. The studios are fighting over it. The people who own the movie originally are fighting with the people who own some of the sequels. And that's the reason why you're not gonna get a complete Blu-ray uh, collection uh, anytime soon. Although there are talks of one being worked on for next year. So maybe some of the rights issues were solved, but at the time being, this is actually the most valuable Blu-ray in my collection. I'll show you an eBay sold listing to verify that, but it usually goes for upwards of $300. The next one in here is another Blu-ray box set of a classic horror movie franchise, and that is the Scarlet Box Hellraiser limited edition set from Arrow Video. This has the first three Hellraiser movies, and it's in this really cool box set, which opens up like this. I've unboxed this on the channel, but it has all the movies on Blu-ray, a huge booklet. And the reason that this sells for so much is again, because it's a limited edition. The Arrow Video limited editions truly are limited. When they say limited edition, they're not just doing it for marketing. They really do limit them to 2,500, 
5,000, sometimes only 1,000 copies, and that's it. And so this is selling on eBay for about $250 on average. And, you know, at one point in time, I think I bought this for, I want to say, 60 bucks. And so clearly um, there is some value there, and I've gained some value, but it's not one I'm going to get rid of. I love it. And, and one thing you'll notice here as we go through this is that the horror genre especially seems to be the place where you get the most value. Horror movies, because horror collectors, regardless of whether they collect Blu-ray and 4K to the extent that I and some of you do, the horror collectors really want movies on physical media, which is why you'll see horror movies on VHS, DVD, even Laserdisc, still sell for a lot more money than some of your classics might, like a Jurassic Park where there's a million versions of it and it's easy to get your hands on. Some of these horror movies go in and out of print print they're hard to get and so that's where you're gonna see a lot of value as I go through this you'll notice a trend now the next one I'm gonna show you is also another arrow video limited edition this is bride of reanimator um, I think I bought this at one point for literally $25 and now it sells upwards of a hundred even hundred and fifty dollars it's a very sought-after release it has a very cool booklet that comes with it which is pretty thick this has uh, it's a full comic actually um, of the Bride of Reanimator, and then it has the Blu-ray, of course. Um, and, and some of these you can buy, like Arrow Video will put these out as individual releases afterward, but this again is the limited edition box set. I believe it was limited to 2,500 copies, and once it's gone, it's gone. So even if Arrow has the rights, the box set is still out of print, and that's where the value on these really goes through the roof. Now, the next one I'm gonna show you here is one that was a huge surprise to me, and I had to verify a few different listings to make sure this was legit, but for some reason, this movie has gone crazy high in price, and that is Invaders from Mars, um, Toby Hooper movie, and this is the Scream Factory edition, no slip cover, but I looked at recent eBay sold listings, and this sold for a ton of money without the slip cover. Now, granted, that was sealed, brand new, never been opened, but you know, mine's in really good shape, and so I would be willing to bet, you know, you could get a hundred dollars for this, no problem. And I had no idea. This was just laying on the shelf um, in the rest of my Scream Factory titles. And Scream Factory is another place where sometimes the value on these Blu-rays goes crazy. This was one I had no idea was gonna go crazy because I literally paid eight dollars for this at one point, and now people are paying well over a hundred dollars to add this to their collection. So it's just crazy. You never really know. It's Honestly, it's probably harder to invest in movies and try to make money off buying and reselling movies than it is on stocks or on sports cards or memorabilia. Um, the movies are just, it's so unpredictable. You don't know when rights are going to go out of print and people can't make the movie anymore. Or they go into a weird uh, purgatory of legal stuff and they can't get a Blu-ray release. You just can't predict that stuff. And so who would have thought, you know, kind of a random Toby Hooper movie, Invader from Mars, would invent, eventually become so valuable? Um, I certainly did it. And again, I'm not buying these to resell, but it's crazy to think how the value on some of these jumps through the roof. Now switching it up a little bit, um, I do have a Criterion release here. And this is Zaitochi, The Blind Swordsman. This is the box set. Um, beautiful box set and I paid I got this during a 50% off criterion sale and so I believe I paid $80 for it and now online uh, this has gone out of print you can't get this anymore it's selling for upwards of $200 $250 in some cases which makes it a very valuable set again that's three times more than I paid for it but the only way to get it is to buy it used from somebody else because you're not gonna find these new in stores. They're no longer being made. So there was a limited run, that is what it is, and only the ones that are out there exist. You're never getting any more. So um, another interesting box set release, and Criterion has quite a few valuable movies as well. Um, Chun King Express, uh, The Man Who Fell to Earth, The Third Man, which is actually a Blu-ray I did find and I resold because I had a different version of it, didn't need the Criterion but found the Criterion for $10, sold it for $150, and was able to get a ton more movies that I really wanted. So you never know, but this does give you a good eye to look out for when you're on apps like OfferUp or Let Go, or if you're on Facebook Marketplace or even Craigslist. If you see some of these, jump on them because they're going to be really hard to get for a good price. 
Another large box set in my collection that I had no idea was worth anything um, is this ESPN 5th Anniversary 30 for 30 set. This has 96 different sports documentaries in it, and it is selling for upwards of $100 on eBay right now. I believe I paid about 30 bucks for this on Amazon, um, and it was a little dinged up. It's actually a really hard one to keep in good shape because it's kind of a... Uh, I wouldn't say it's a flimsy cardboard, but it, it can definitely get banged up. It's just a cardboard case, but 96 of ESPN's best documentaries, some of the best sports documentaries out there, period. And in this set, um, it just they don't come like this anymore in the ticket stub uh, box. And so this one has is, is been going up in price recently. Uh, especially as I think recently people are just looking for stuff to watch for sports because we don't have any sports going on. I've seen a lot of sports related stuff jump up in price as people are trying to get them uh, into their collections. Now, as we move back into horror, I have another Arrow video set and this is the American Horror Project Volume 1. These are three very rare horror movies that I don't even believe were put out on DVD. Maybe they were put out on VHS. I think it says it on here. Um, but they were basically like lost movies and Arrow Video put out this set, restored them, made them look as good as they could from what survived of any original elements and put together a really nice box set. This also sells for upwards of $100. I remember getting this for 40 or 50 and now American Horror Project Volume 2 has recently come out um, and so it's starting to become a, a little bit of a collectible series but I love the artwork on this. The movies inside it are super cool. I've, I've had this for, for probably four or five years. Got it for a good price, but you're not going to be able to find it now. Now, a couple more from Scream Factory here. Um, the, the first one being the Sleepaway Camp series. So I have Sleepaway Camp 1, but no slipcover. And then I have Sleepaway Camp 2 and Sleepaway Camp 3, both with the slipcovers. And now I don't know how much a difference this makes, but I know all three of these are very hard to find, very hard to get with the slipcover. And so I saw a recent listing where the three of these sold for $150 with three slipcovers. I could probably say that without the first one having a slipcover, it's not worth that much. Um, but I could probably get $100 for the set because of the two slipcovers I have. And that's another crazy thing with the horror movies and collectors is those Scream Factory editions only come with these really cool slipcovers on them for a very limited print run. And once they're gone, they're gone. And so some of these slipcovers will sell online for $20 or $30 each by themselves without even having the movie. So there's some crazy stuff going on with Scream Factory. And again, it's all these collectible horror movies that uh, really get people excited. Now here's a pretty classic Blu-ray that everyone kind of knows is out of print. I did a video about this a few months ago when I found it, but it's Dawn of the Dead, the original George Romero's um, from 1978, I believe. Um, I'd have to double check. I think it's 78, but either way, um, this I found at a Goodwill for $2. This easily sells for um, 60 to $70 all day, just in a regular, case nothing special about it no slip cover it's just another movie that's gone out of print is really hard to find on blu-ray and it's an anchor bay title and uh, some of these older anchor bay titles just went out of print and uh, the rights have just been in limbo for so long that there's actually some really obscure movies out there from anchor bay that go for a really high amount of money you know not crazy not hundreds of dollars but 40 50 60 bucks because they're just impossible to find. And now the last one before I move over to a couple sets um, that are much bigger is the Bruce Lee Premiere Collection from Scream Factory Shout Factory with the slip cover. This is selling for over $100 online. I got this for 20 bucks during a Shout Factory sale. I just wanted to have the Bruce Lee movies. Now Criterion is coming out with the Bruce Lee set, so these are going to get a re-release. And the reason that um, Shout Factory, this set, was going for so much is because that it went out of print and Shout Factory lost the rights. It appears that Criterion has picked them up. So this probably won't hold its value for much longer. And that's the other thing to note about these Blu-rays is even though I could probably sell this for $150 right now, in six months, it may be worth 30 bucks again or 40 bucks because Criterion has come out with a new release. Now, Dawn of the Dead here could be worth 60 or $70 today, but if next week they announce that a new 4K version of Dawn of the Dead is coming out, this drops in price significantly. Um, same with any of these other movies. If they get a re-release 
which is always possible, um, your, your price is going to drop dramatically. And so if you're talking about investing in movies, it's really, really hard to do that. You really can't invest and you really can't hope that your collection um, gets any more valuable unless you have very specific packaging like those Arrow video box sets, like um, some of the box sets I'm going to show you in a minute. That Those sets are worth so much not because of the movie inside of them, but because of the packaging. And because it's limited edition, you'll never see that packaging again. It's unique. Whereas something like this, this is valuable because the movie is hard to find, the disc is hard to find. It's not the packaging, it's the disc, which means it's a little less valuable. It's only 60 or $70. But if that comes out again on disc, this is gonna be worth you know 20 bucks again. It's gonna be nothing crazy. So now the last couple I'm gonna show you here are actually both Marvel movies. And as with horror movies, if you think about Marvel and Star Wars and franchises like that, there's more value to them because there's more collectors. Now, the first one I have here, this is a very old steelbook. I probably got this back in when this movie came out. Uh, it was a Best Buy exclusive and it was a 3D Blu-ray um, and Blu-ray steelbook. And it's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1. Um, this is the Awesome Mix Volume 1. It has a really cool spine. It looks like a cassette player, right? And this was really hard to find. I battled to get one of these because I loved Guardians of the Galaxy. And this is when I was still collecting steelbooks. Um, but I remember I paid 15 bucks for it, had some Best Buy certificates, and now this sells for crazy amounts of money. It's highly, highly sought after by collectors, especially steelbook collectors and Blu-ray 3D collectors. So you never know. Like I have a ton of steelbooks and I when I first started collecting, I thought steelbooks, buy steelbooks, they're gonna go up in value. Some of these don't, some of these are worth nothing. Some of my steelbooks are worth five bucks. Um, they're not worth anything. You just don't know, and so that's a big reason why I say, honestly, I'll say it again, don't try to invest in movies. Collect what you like and just worry about that. And if things go up in value, great. But realistically, we're not here to buy and resell anyway. I just want to show off some things that do have value in case you all were wondering uh, and maybe have some gems in your collection you didn't even know about. Now the last one I have here is this is worth at least a couple hundred bucks and this is the Avengers Marvel uh, Phase 1 set. Um, this lights up, it has the uh, Tesseract on the inside, it has some crazy stuff like that. It's in this kind of fake uh, briefcase packaging. And it actually has, I don't even know how to open this thing. It's been so long since I opened it. There we go. All right. So opening it on the inside. So now you have just sleeves of movies, Captain America. Um, this is a, a different, this is special features. We've got Thor and they all slide in here. And then there is the Tesseract cube right here. This is what lights everything up. Um, and then on the inside, you've got a bunch of like, folders for uh, classified shield tony stark um agent dr banner bruce um bruce, <laughs> banner bruce dr bruce banner it has like all this paperwork on them and then of course i've got um the avengers uh iron man 2 the incredible hulk and the original iron man so all those phase one movies are in here um, and the 3d discs are included uh, where those are applicable so it's a really really cool set um, it, it would be pretty expensive to put together all these movies in 3d anyway uh, without needing a complete set like this but when you have the nice box set briefcase lights up it's a really nice shelf piece that a lot of collectors want and so it easily goes for over 200 dollars um, pretty much all the time so that's it for the video. Those are some of the uh, most valuable Blu-rays in my collection. Mostly Blu-rays because like I said, at this point 4K is so new that a lot of stuff isn't going out of print and value is still trying to be like determined on those. It's hard to say what's gonna be worth something. There are some 4Ks which sell for a lot. There are some DVDs which sell for a lot, but I am primarily Blu-ray and 4K and the few 4K discs that sell for a lot, um, I honestly don't think they will forever. I think it's just a weird, um, thing right now with how much quantity is out there and those will chill out but these blu-rays you know have been out for a few years now 
gone out of print officially and that's why you're seeing these prices. But like I said, as a collector, are we really here to make money? No, we're here to collect what we like. You can't invest in movies. Um, you can certainly invest in a collection to make sure you have movies that otherwise may not be on a streaming service or may never come to 4K from Blu-ray or Blu-ray from DVD and you have old DVD copies. That's the sort of investment you're doing. You're investing in your own collection to make sure you have physical copies. But if you're looking to buy and resell movies as you would like with sports cards or something where you're looking for Michael Jordan's rookie card and it's going to go up and be $10,000 uh, when you paid $500 for it last year, like it just it's not going to work like that with movies because there's always new formats there's always new packages um and what you're really going to look for if you do want something valuable is those horror movies those are the most collectible those fetch the most value and you're going to want to buy things that are truly limited in any collection scarcity is what drives value and so if you have limited edition releases that are you know limited to only 2500 5000 or even less on a print run those immediately will have value. And I would recommend jumping on those. If there's something you really want and it's a limited edition, don't wait too long. It's gonna sell at full price. They're gonna sell it a little bit cheaper to get rid of some stock. And after that, boom, those are gonna skyrocket. So if you really do want something, go out and grab it. Don't wait because you may never get it or you may have to pay a huge premium after the fact. So thanks for watching guys, hope this was interesting. It was a really fun video for me to go through my collection and go through some eBay listings and see what's actually selling out there because I found a few surprises in my collection which was really cool. Um, so maybe this helped you find a few gems in your collection you didn't know you have or it also gives you something to keep an eye out for when you're going through Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace and offer up, let go, all those apps out there. Even eBay, if you see something that gets listed really cheap, jump on it because these are super expensive to buy individually. I just talked about well over probably $1,000, $1,500 in Blu-rays here. And I only brought up, you know, a handful, eight, nine, 10 different copies. So you're gonna wanna jump on stuff fast if you see it. If you see a copy of Guardians of the Galaxy Steelbook listed for 20 bucks somewhere, grab it if you want it. If you see a copy of the Avengers box set, grab it. You know, look for those things. If you see Dawn of the Dead for cheap at a thrift store, grab it. Two bucks versus 60, that's a huge saving. So just gives you an idea of what to look for. I'm not condoning investing in movies or collecting to resell. It's a really hard business, but hopefully this was interesting for all of you. So again, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, follow me on Instagram, check out all the other links down in my description. And I hope you guys are staying safe, staying healthy, and you have a great rest of your week. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for watching.